In his prime, a male gelada can gather round him a harem of six or seven wives. Sex causes a great deal of tension, because each male lives alongside other hot-tempered tyrants, who constantly threaten to abduct his females. This male is still so wound up that he mates to dissipate his stress. In many primates, copulation is not merely for reproduction. Female geladas can't live with a high level of aggression. They want to be left in peace to rear their offspring. So they've got ways of preventing their despotic male from behaving too badly. Inviting him to groom them and grooming him calms tense situations. Picking through each other's fur also reinforces social bonds or friendships. But if the male starts to bully one of his wives, they all gang up and retaliate. And the tyrant doesn't always get his own way. Yet paradoxically, the females need fierce guardians to protect them from being sexually harassed by unattached males. There's no shortage of them. Gangs of frustrated young bachelors lurk around the edges of the troop. Sexually mature, they each yearn for their own family of females and frequently make trouble for everyone. It's a universal social problem how to control the aggressive tendencies of young males. Their rampaging causes chaos and challenges the authority of the harem holding males. Such meetings can only lead to a simian showdown. This male puts on an act of bravado. He's greatly outnumbered. But their victory is short-lived. The furious male scatters the gang. One day this tyrant will meet his high noon and lose his females, but not today. He broadcasts his triumphant win to the rest of the troop from the top of a tree. <laughs>